report. I'm Dr. Love. I am a clinical optometrist and a contologist. So I'm an eye doctor, in short. So I'm going to be telling you a testimony that I secretly had, okay? That for the past year of my life, that was 2021, being into import, this was the one that I'm really, I'm really hiding because um, there's a lot of personal issues here. But now, praise God, because the Lord ready, ready me for this. The Lord prepared me for this. There's a, such a time as this where the Lord wants me to share this, not for my shame, but for his glory. So actually, as an eye doctor, it's very hard that you, you've been diagnosed with an eye disease. Okay, for the past years of my life, I've been high myo. I have a uh, high grade, so my far vision is very, very blurred. And with that kind of disease or, or refractive error, you are very prone to retinal tear. So retinal tear is where the back part of your eye is very prone to tearing. So if that was torn, you will be blind. And it was 2016 when I started getting into gym. I was so addicted in my workout. I'm so addicted to fitness. I lifted uh, 300 pounds of deadlift. I lifted and I squatted 200 pounds. And uh, I was so into fitness. I was so conscious with myself. It's like I'm glorifying myself already. But I didn't even expect it. I, I didn't even expect that that... Um, self-idolatry, that self-glorification, and will we'll open more doors for such infirmity. It was 2018 when I went to Korea. And then suddenly I'm seeing lots of flashes of light and I'm seeing uh, black spots over my eyes. It was right and left back then. I was so nervous because it's supposed to be a pleasurable time there. But then I was so stressed. I don't know if I only have a few minutes before I get blind because that is an emergency case or if I only have a day or two to save myself. I've been looking for a doctor there, but there was none. I've been so paranoid. I've been so depressed. For my whole trip, I was, I was, I'm was i staying there for two weeks, but that whole trip is like a disaster for me. I didn't even told my colleagues that I am suffering from that because I don't want them to degrade me. That, that maybe they're going to say that, love, you're an eye doctor and you can even take care of yourself. I was so I was so down at the very moment that I, I don't even uh, message my mom. My mom also, also is an eye doctor. I don't even message him, her. I didn't even message her because I don't want her to feel worried, to feel fearful of what I'm suffering. But then I trusted the Lord. Lord, give me days to save this, to save myself from this. Um, please give me, please help me to stay here. And as I, I go back to the Philippines, help me, please treat me right away in Jesus' name. And then I was just praying, I was just praying, complaining. Okay, complaining to God, Lord, why did, does, does it happen to me? Why did it happen to me? But then when I went home, okay, I told my mom. She was like so worried. And we went to a doctor. I have a surgery. I have two lasers in my left eye because my left, left eye is like 50-50 and uh, my right eye is um, a little bit of intact. Pa, so... It's like 70% okay pa yung right eye ko. But my left eye is not that good na. So I went into an emergency uh, surgery that time. And then, but then, okay, but then the, the tear was like laser. It, it was welded so that it will be intact. But then my sight is not that good na. So it's not really good na talaga. So there's a lot of, there's, there, I've been seeing lots of flashes of light, um, blurriness. And of course, there are lots of jelly. It's like a black jelly ace in front of you. So imagine that. And you, uh, you are healing your patients, but you can heal yourself. And then it was October 2021 when Pastor Miguel 
had this word of knowledge that some of the import people will be healed with blurring of vision. And he sent that October 24 on our group chat. Okay, that was Thursday in part. So I'm like doubting partially because my case is not that, that is, is not that good compared to a simple refractive error. But then I trusted the Lord. I trusted the Lord. He continued praying for my eyes. And then, and then it all started when Pastor Miguel uh, said that there is someone here. Okay, this is in the Zoom. That there is someone here whose left eye is being recovered. Okay. And right there and then I felt like my left eye here, it was being lasered. The laser pain that I felt two years ago when I had my, la my eye laser is also the same pain that I felt that night. But then the pain is like there's a healing pain that's happening in my eye. It's like there is, there is like a holy hand touching my eyes. And it's really, and it's really, it's really uncomfortable, but you know that you know that you know that the Lord is touching your eyes again so that you will be completely healed. Okay. And then right after that, oh my gosh, I, I check myself, I check my eyes, I check my eyes. All the jellyfishes that is that's been going on, on my eyes, all the shadows, all the floaters and the flashes of light. Guys, I, I'm gonna tell you, it's absolutely gone hundred percent. And it's like the Lord is telling me, love, there's a hope on you. That my testimony that I put on you will not put you to shame, but so that I will be glorified. So that I will be glorified. That even though you're you're an eye doctor and you cannot heal or take care of your eyes, and I, I will be the one, my daughter, I will be the one who will take care of you. I will be the one who will heal you. That no eye doctor can do. Only me, your daddy God. And you know, guys, that is the greatest testimony that I had last year. But I will not even forget that I even told my mom and she started praising the Lord. You know, the gift of healing in my life is not, I cannot, I cannot completely grasp the gift of healing in my life. Why? Because, you know, I'm a doctor and like 50% of our knowledge came from science. But then the Lord, our God, can turn that so that we can glorify him. And we can praise his name all, all day long. As I was looking at my patients, I've been praying them for them silently. Those people whom I cannot even cure. Those people whom I cannot even give a treatment. But then as I'm praying for them silently, they are coming back and they are telling me, Doctor, you are such a good doctor. You, you cured my eyes. But then I'm telling them, no, it's not me. It's the Lord. Been prayed for you when you are here. Been praying for you when you are when you are having your eye treatments. And been praying for you because the Lord wants to put hope and wants to put love in you. So if there is anyone here who has lost hope in your disease, in your infirmity, in your depression, and in your anxiety, let the Lord heal you. Let the Lord love you completely because you may not even know when will the Lord touch you so that you can glorify Him more, that so that you can praise Him more, and that so you can proclaim boldly that He is the God who heals and no one else is, that He is the God beyond science, that He is the God beyond knowledge, that He is the God beyond this world and that he is the god who supernaturally healed us so guys let's speak the word of god boldly but let's proclaim him in our lives like never before because if you want this year to be better if and if you want this year a year of, to be a year of revival start to be used by god start to be used by god because our life is for his glory and our life is 
a walking testimony and our life is a living testimony for the Lord. So thank you for that. I have such a lot of peace upon releasing this. Um, I'm not ashamed anymore that I cannot cure myself and I cannot even take care of myself because our daddy God loves us more and I put my trust in him and I put my hope in him. And with that, I will never fail. Thank you so much, guys, and God bless.